Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday morning and I just finished cleaning my apartment. So now I'm going to be cleaning all of my IKEA greenhouse cabinets. I have three cabinets. I have a Rudsta wide, a Mills Bowl tall, and I have a double D tall. I do clean my cabinets weekly. So I take everything out and I wipe them down, dust them out, everything like that. I just do it while I'm already cleaning my house and it just makes things easier in the long run so things don't get so built up and things like that. So so this video is going to be very chill. I am in my comfy house clothes. I am just cleaning and restyling the cabinets. In my last video, you guys saw I put literally almost every plant that I own on a moss pole. So the biggest thing now is that I kind of need to make space for the moss pole. So some things are going to get moved around. Um, some things are just going to stay in their same place. For the most part, it might just be sped up a little bit and I'll just have some really chill relaxing music and maybe you guys can do some of your plant chores as well so the first cabinet I'm gonna work on is my Rudsta wide there is like water stains like all over the glass um, once I was done with that video of me putting everything on a moss pole I literally just threw all of the plants in the cabinets none of it makes sense or anything like that so that's why I just need to you know straighten it up so yeah I'm just gonna clean this one first and then I'll start on the mills bow my mills bow a lot is going on in here I don't really understand but yeah I kind of threw stuff in here as well I'm going to clean this one out and try to come up with a little bit of a different design especially with the pegboard in the back as well And this is the current state of the double D top. When I tell you, I literally just threw everything in here. Like you can see all the moss pulls there and look down here. Like, look, there's nothing even on that little shelf. It's a mess right now. And I just have no idea what's going on.
I'm just going to briefly go through the cabinets and explain what I did and then I'm going to water all the plants because they are really due for a watering. I definitely have been neglecting a lot of my personal plants and they are just super thirsty so I'm going to do that. So this is the Mills bow. This is the top shelf. For the most part I kept everything the same. I kept it with like the anthurium style at the top. Sometimes I have a hard time stylizing the top shelves of like my cabinets because the space is very limited for the most part it's pretty much the same some things new that i added were my new anthurium i added this plant up here on a hanging shelf that's attached to the pegboard the pegboard the hanging shelves and those corner shelves that you've seen throughout the video they are from modern aqua you can go on their website and you can get all those things specific to your cabinet i added a cutting of an amy durian that i took it's just rooting in water nothing special I have my Monstera Adansonii Mint in this corner on a Lekka pole. Check out my last video all about the moss poles. We did a whole bunch of stuff. I put all the plants on moss poles. This plant right here, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put it on the screen. I originally got this plant for the shop, but this plant is one of those plants that need to be probably watered almost every single day. If it doesn't, it will completely droop down to the point where it looks like it's dying. And I've just decided to remove it off of the shop and just keep it. I just don't know how it's going to act when it gets shipped in a box for two to three days. Um, I don't want somebody to open the box and the plant looks like it's dead even though it's not it just needs water but like yeah this plant is just one of those plants that just shows you when it needs water so i just decided to keep it so i'm just gonna hold the camera for the bottom half because it's kind of hard to show everything but i have the pegboard in the middle still with the hanging shelf i put my anthurium doriaki and my anthurium silver blush on there and then the bottom for the most part is the same you know the monstera album and the tie they kind of take up majority of the space in this cabinet. I added in that anthurium in the back, uh, anthurium Cosmora lens back there. And then this is my new anthurium Clarinervium that I put on that corner shelf as well. So there's three plants on the corner shelf. So then the bottom is always really difficult to deal with. There's no light that really reaches the bottoms. Only thing on the bottom is, like I said, the Monstera Albo, um, this Parisio Verde right here. And then in the very back is the mother plant of the Amy Durium. Moving on to my Rudsta cabinet, the top shelf really just stayed the same. It has all of the Hoyas and a few of these Aglionema Pictum tricolors up here. Has a few little random propagation things. This top shelf usually always stays the same. There's really not much I can do with it and I don't have that many little plants that can be up here. So this is just how it's gonna be. This is the bottom half of the cabinet. It has mostly all of the moss pole plants. Some of the plants are the exact same plants that were already in here some have been switched out of like the detox and stuff like that let me address the florida beauty situation as you can see it has no roots it's growing now in water what had happened was that this whole cutting of the plant was attached to one single aerial root um, and one leaf that was completely rooted in LECA. And I went to repot the plant into a bigger LECA vessel and it just literally snapped in half. So the bottom half is still rooted and connected to the one leaf. So I just kept it in the mills bow. But now this big top cutting <laughs> is um, now just being re-rooted in water. And I just stuck it on this pole thingy so that it could just stand up straight, but there's obviously nothing in there. But yeah, it's it's actually rooting now, so it'll just be its own plant. Um, so I guess it kind of works out for me, then I can have two. Everything pretty much stayed the same in here. Added a few different things, but yeah, this is pretty much the gist of this one. This is the double detox. Um, I did clean it and I just moved a few things around to fit some of the extra moss pole plants. And I am holding the camera. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky, but I have to hold it because this cabinet actually is like right in front of my couch in my living room. I can't put the camera fully directly in front of it because the couch is like kind of blocking it. The top stayed the same, just has a little seedling, anthurium, anthurium cleans up there. We have like the pink princesses over here. I added in my big epipremnum pinnatum albo. We recently put this on a leca pole as well. So that is in the back. It has burned spots on it from a light falling on it, but we have the white wizard over here. This little section over here is a little random it just has like some cuttings and stuff like that over here this whole cabinet is probably going to change like i said i have something coming up for it but i 
just needed to put uh, the plant somewhere in the meantime. Kept the ring of fire, the golden crocodile, and the ghost together in this little corner. I actually removed the shelf that was sitting here to make space for all of these plants because the moss poles are a tad bit too tall to fit under the shelf, so I had to just take it out for now. But yeah, all the syngoniums are over here, and then this is like a little propagation of my syngonium red sweat tricolor, and then I have like another little random, um, I think this is a glorious cutting down here. So my camera is going to die, but I am just going to go through all my plants and just water them now. I hope you guys enjoyed this very planty video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!